Uh, we will not only show the games that we did on our last game jam, but we will also show you some prototypes, some really old prototypes of the Wandering Village. Ta -da! Look at this graphics! Can you see it? It's the Wandering Village. Amazing! <laughs> Fantastic video game. Hello everyone. Hi. We are of course once again Roger and Arno in his second outing for the Strayvon Studio Death Scream. Has nothing to do with dying. It's just that we are game developers of the Wandering Village, as you may have seen. Hello everyone in the chat. Great. A piano that is buzzing and changing speed. Well, that's yeah. probably because of the YouTube video I added. I don't know who plays piano that badly. Mm. But. <laughs> uh, yeah, we changed the setup a little bit. Uh, we're trying to improve things uh, each we time. We have a cool frame. Where do I see that here? Around our faces. <laughs> yeah. Also a cool uh, waiting screen, as you've probably noticed in the last 16 minutes. That we and we are now actually capturing from one computer to the other, which means I can finally use my mouse and he can play at the same time. Yes, it is um, a vastly improved setup with some teething troubles, but... Yeah. So what, we, what are we going to do today? Um, we thought, hey, Let's for once not talk about the water biome until yes. we have some more, but also there were other stuff that we wanted to share with you. Um, Just insights into our game studio, I guess, because yeah, exactly. the last big update has just released and we are now head, we don't have jumped headfirst into the water biome and there is not a whole lot that's pretty to show yet. So yeah, we're, we're gonna, probably gonna do that next time around. But today I th we thought we were going to show you one of our yearly routines because every year we make a, we do a little game jam. What is a game jam, you may ask? Is it's a short period of time, usually like two days to five days, where people make games in this very short period of time. Yeah. And why do we do that? Because it's fun to train our skills and of course to prototype new ideas that might one day make it into an actual game that we release. Yeah, exactly. The, the goal is not really that we have to have a certain product at the end of the week, but it's really for a good distraction. And hello, Philomena. Apropos entering distraction. Room. <laughs> How are you? Hello, weird entrance. I just forgot my jacket. And I hope you have a nice evening. <laughs> <laughs> what game was your favorite? Huh? Have you played them? No, no we, we didn't start. We, we didn't, didn't start. No, 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 we no. haven't even started. We okay, let's go. You audio have a issues. Long evening ahead of you. God Bye, guys. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, as we said, uh, I think the the game jam is just a good vehicle for each and everyone who is working on like these big projects to have uh, to do something else with game design and not just work on the same. Okay, um, for game. three, four years at a time. Yeah, uh, I can assure you it's still fun, but sometimes uh, if you can just do something quick and dirty, it's really and awesome. we're still yeah. fully committed to put even more games into the Wandering Village. Yeah. And maybe if you keep watching, you'll see where we started three or three -ish years ago oh, yeah. on the Wandering Village. Uh, we will not only show the games that we did on our last game jam, but we will also show you some prototypes, some really old prototypes of the Wandering Village. Um, that's for the end of the show, I think. Yes. Uh, but right now, let's jump into our last year's game jam. Project, yeah. Don't you think? Um, or maybe we should f first jump into a game jam project from the year before last year. You think so? So summer two thousand twenty-one. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm ashamed. So, as this is my game. Um, so by the way, I, I made a game, he did, made a game. Now from 2021, we don't have all games together. Yeah, we, we, we're, today we only have a single one because yeah. it's going to be relevant for the 2022 game jam. Yeah. So for me, it was, as I'm more of the story guy here at the Stray Fun for the Wandering Village and UI design and some 3D, um, I'm not a good programmer. so. For me, and also as I'm a career changer and not, I didn't study any game design as others did, or Philomena, who just entered the room, I'm still lacking on some programming still, uh, skills. 
So for me, it was a big goal to learn how to program last year. And then it took a really long while because life just went in the way. And now I'm continuing my journey to learn how to program well. But here so, is Roger's first attempt. Yeah, let's have a look at my first game uh, I ever made. This, over <laughs> here, it's called Fox Trail, I guess. Yeah. It looks more like a corgi still, but they can judge for themselves. While we wait for Unity to open. Oh, it's so oh loud. God. It's so loud. <laughs> <laughs> this it has been nixed. It ha I, I've killed it. It was so, unlistenable. As you know, it was my first attempt at making a game. So I didn't have any music manager by then. Um, <laughs> hey, I'll just try to make it really. Uh, or, or, I can loud. I can lower the yeah, yeah, volume of the, this PC over here. <laughs> I don't ever want to hear that again. My God. Oh, and by the way, the soundtrack is Nyan Cat. For those who know, Yankat. they know. <laughs> uh, when was this meme popular? 2011 or something like that? Yeah, I'd say it's, it's a good 2010 thing. Yeah, yeah it, it, I mean. it really shows his age and mine as well, to be fair. But uh. So what Roger did in 2021? I did a remix of uh, Frogger and uh, what was it called? Um... um from Mr. Wales Games, whatever. Continue. Uh, crossy roads. Crossy roads, exactly. Yes. Yeah. Because here's a road that you have to cross with your little um, corgi. That's definitely a fox. So it's pretty much a crossy roads, but I wanted to have some stealth mechanics. <laughs> uh, the stealth mechanics come into play here. You can yeah. see the sidelines <laughs> of our fa of our faceless ghouls. Yeah. So I'm trying to justify myself here. Um, as I said, it's the first time programming and as I'm not working 100% like five days a week for spray fun, that was like uh, three days of what work. What killed me? I don't know, it was a ghost. <laughs> oh no, very spooky. <laughs> By the way, on the top left you see your high score. So let's see who makes uh, it faster. You have to mash the keyboard really often playing this game. I don't I don't think you'll be able to hear it. It's not very loud keyboard, but for every meter I'm moving forward, I have to press a key. Yeah. Also, there's no cat in this game. It's a fox that looks like a corgi. Why did you pick Neon Cat? What was the creative intent? It was, I just needed some stressful music really fast. That road just insta kills. Me. Hey, maybe you just made it. No, I don't know. Ah, it's just the end. <laughs> I'm not sure. Now I think I'm not sure if there's an end. I did an end. Uh, implemented an end on the other game though. Ooh, this is high level gameplay we're seeing here. <laughs> oh, I oh know. You need really fast yeah, fingers. No, you, you, okay. You run over by the car. Oh, okay. Hey. That was like 2021. <laughs> Who cares about this anymore? 2021 is over, so is 2022, but let's pretend yeah. it's not. Because <laughs> in 2022, Roger, well, this one down here, uh, expanded on his yeah. stealth game. And I made the same game over again. Because last time I had some help from Arno to program it. Well, you still and I thought, this time around. Yeah, but it was, <laughs> it was really just a few. Uh, and here, and this time he has a volume slider, so uh, we're very sorry yeah. about your ears from before, especially you, Zyklos 8. But uh, this time around, it's more of a true stealth game, I think, less of yeah. a crossy road influence. And also this time I didn't, um, I just didn't care about the graphics. For me it was like, hey, let's focus on programming some gameplay, yeah. Well, let's do it. I can't buy anything. I don't have any credit, as I see down there. So let's just start. Hey, by the way, now this time oh, with controller support. Full controller support, <laughs> by the way. Yes, Roger took time to implement that in the... How many days were you working on this? Three days? Hey, no, no, no. I, I worked during Christmas on it. Ah, okay. So, you know... Ah, yes, of course. Like, you, you were, you were yeah. one of the cheaters. I had to overcompensate, so <laughs> because I'm slow at programming. Uh, yeah. And you can run with the red button. Yes, 
I yeah. almost, oh no, and you I, should, yes, uh, I can crouch also, right? Which was. I'm not sure problem. if it's possible in this version, uh, uh, but okay. yeah, you tried with Y. Yeah, ah, yes, you can. Okay. And you can throw a stone also yes, as well. Yes, I've noticed. Here you have like the classic game mechanics for stealth games. If you run, you make a sound, um, you can make yourself smaller, you can jump and you can throw a stone. Oh no. There's oh, no. no way there. <laughs> be faster. I'm trapped. And also you need to be fast because... Um, you need to be extremely fast. Yeah. You cannot pause for too long. May I go for, yes, for a round? Yes, of course. Hey, by the way, the game is already abandoned. <laughs> My next programming challenge is a card game, so I'm working on that. So Cyclo Said says his name is Said and not Said, as I mistakenly <laughs> pronounced it earlier. Yeah, sure. That made that actually makes I a lot mean, of sense. I mean, if if you just Americanize it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, that was a close one. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> yes, run. Oh God. Uh oh, uh oh. I I, I do ah. think that the, the, the auto scroll is a little bit too fast. N yeah, no, it's, it's just level design is not, not. Yeah. I'll try another time. Hey, I really, that's it's kind of fun when you make a game and then you lose in it and then you just have to try it again and again because you cannot lose again your your own <laughs> self. <laughs> so I played it quite a lot of times. I think it's it's pretty okay with the controller. I also did the mobile port. Um, I didn't like it. Did that, that work? Much. Actually. Yeah, no. <laughs> I mean, it it worked, but I couldn't make. Um, the guy would just continue. No. Oh, okay, I'm dead. The guy would just continue to run if I uh, release the yes. the joystick button. Yeah. Come. On. I wanna at least beat the high score. Is the high score six at, at yeah, the you're moment? Right. I'm guessing. Oh no! I'm already done. Yeah. Nothing no. So the game is too me. hard in the beginning. I actually I made. Yeah, in the the current version, the beginning is a little bit easier. Run. I am the best. Oh no. Ha. No. God. Whew. Make yourself small. Yes, I'm. Oh no. Oh. Uh. Oh no. Come on, look away. Well, but they, they do have pretty good coverage of the level, these guards. It's hard to sneak through. Uh, there is a credit, I'm taking that. <laughs> the enemies can hear a type, says Adarinin. I can't jump there, but I can sneak through. No, no you cannot. No, no. You cannot. <laughs> no. Okay, can I can I give a last shot? Yes. Then we're gonna play something better. Yeah, sure. <laughs> no, I mean. No, it's it's. it's I'm proud. Good. Yeah. <laughs> I also enjoy it for what it is. It's much more. Uh, I mean, technically, especially during the your Christmas vacation, you yeah. made it quite advanced with yeah, the yeah. sound and the sound visualization and the rocks that you could throw. Damn it! <laughs> Ooh. High level gameplay, oh no. Oh no. And that's a bug. That's a bug. Did you see that? Yes. <laughs> okay, okay. Let's call it a day for my game. Um, and maybe. what should we continue with? Hey, 
we do have your game, which is mm -hmm. really beautiful. We have um, Claudio's video. We have oh yeah, Nishlands. We have right. the Forest God game, and we have Dick Story. Hey, I think <laughs> Dick Story. I, I think we could look at Claudio's video. Just uh, it's a really short thing. Yes, that's a really our sound designer is also learning a lot of 3D and he's currently looking into Unreal. And Although we are all working with Unity, the sound I'm designer... I'm also looking into Unreal, yes. Yeah. Because um, it's interesting. Yeah, it's super interesting. And Claudio only works two days a week in our studio, yeah. so that's why he only had two days to participate in the game jam, which is why he made a little... Oh no, VLC is out of date. Why he made a little uni uh, Unreal Engine demo? Just why? Well, ah, that's that's actually Claudio's Windows 11 bar down there. Yeah. Also, this video has no sound. So, so and at the end of the video, you'll see a cute little um, Easter egg. For those of you who've played The Wandering Village, I don't know how many of you there. <laughs> Look at that! It's a hut. <laughs> Not one of those big the guy has space some, kinds. Yeah, some poison protection. <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> the little fella. <laughs> have you seen the little fella? With yeah, the, yeah with I've with seen the it. The door and the poison protection. Oh. Yeah, so he did all this uh, oh. environment uh, in two days. So I think it's also yeah. pretty good work. I think the programming is uh, mostly just the uh, yeah, standard it's, Unreal. Yeah. For a personal controller, but of course the focus was the 3D environment, which I think looks very nice. Yeah. Especially the sky so he didn't make a game, but that's also as as I was uh, not long ago. Uh, he's not a programmer, right? Or, I mean, I'm still I don't <laughs> consider myself a programmer, but yeah. So that was Claudio, our sound designer. Yeah. And where should we continue? I think we could try to play Niche Lands. Niche Lands. Philomena already told me that it's not so intuitive for those who haven't played uh, Stacklands or just worked on the game. But and we haven't played Stacklands. Have you played Stacklands? No, I didn't. I haven't I didn't. played Stacklands. I gotta but say. We'll try it anyway. Yeah. We'll and see it, how intuitive it is. It looked interesting when they demo it in front of us. So. Let's see if we can also demo it to you in an interesting manner. So this was made by uh, Philomena and Micha. Yeah. So, so our two studio founders collaborating on another project. Yeah. And as you see, it's uh, a prototype f of the, we could say, the niche franchise. So uh, you have the hex tiles as you had in niche. Uh, you have the same game objects. So you have the berry bushes niche links, a nest, and then um, you're already working on it, right? Yes, I so stacked the niche links on top of the barrier bushes, which they are now collecting. As I see it, you have to stack the cards one next to each other, and then they combine. And then um, they start working on each other, yeah. I guess. Could you play a little bit slower, just that people, because I think it's already, okay, the okay, screen is already too full. fast. Yeah, it, it, the screen um, fills up very quickly. And for oh, those who have any so questions, guys, please let us know. So the, the niche link is eating from the berry bush. And each day they will have go to eat forest. food. I cannot go, uh, I can go into the forest. Yeah, up here I think you can see the, how much food is exactly. needed. Exactly. So you already have double the food yes, that I you will need for one probably survive for two days day. with the niche links, from my understanding. Yeah. Of course, just like a niche, the niche links also have genes. So if you drag them, I guess, on top of each other or into a nest, they can breed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, try to put two niche links on the nest. Uh, but first nest. I want to explore the forest. All right. All right. Also, Philomena told me to explore the north or south or just one of the directions. Well, Any actually, she, she especially told me north or south. Okay. So. <laughs> so I'm not going to explore any other directions. Let's go north and let's go south. So we found another four. Could no. you hover over north or south so I can just read the description? Nishling can explore to find new places. Nishling can explore to find new places. <laughs> Stacklands German edition. Why did you say that? 
Oh, and we are Swiss. I mean, I'm also we German, are, but you're but German. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I can move the stacked ones. Okay, that's good to know. That is, this exploration takes a very long time. I'm going to speed it up a little bit. Oh, and uh, long ago, Adarinian asked if it's a hackathon or Ludumdare. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's just like a yeah, Ludumdare. Yeah, similar, but just, it's uh, internal it's, from a studio. Yeah, so we don't have like the the the, the same it's, whatever. Yeah, you know, and there's ooh, there's dusk. nothing about like winning or being the best in a category. So it's really just we um, having some time to work on stuff we like or where we think we would uh, like to develop. I'd love it, I might be able to zoom out, but I don't yeah. think it's implemented Yeah, yet. no. Yeah. Uh, currently, Micha is actually turning this game into a 3D game. Yes, I've seen it, and with a moddable, streamable 3D assets. Which oh, that cool. was actually the core part why Micha uh, programmed yes. this game. Because uh, they, b both of them, Micha and Fido, weren't here for the entire week of the jam. So Micha mm -hmm. started it, our lead programmer, mm -hmm. and then Filomena continued it. Mm -hmm. And Micha wanted to make a very moddable game. If you yeah. And actually, all these cards uh, we could do ourselves uh, using an XML file. So just like using a text editor, we could write uh, the names of new cards and put in some stats. So it wouldn't have to be a, a niche game at all. It could just be whatever you would like. So his focus was on learning to make a very moddable game so that we can also implement modding in uh, uh, quicker and, and provide a, a good modding service, so to speak. Um, Ada, yes, you can put these hexagons just about anywhere. They are not bound to a grid. And I found a mountain in the desert, so that was probably what Philomena was on about with mm -hmm. the north and south. So I'm just going to go explore this desert now. Let's see if I get murdered. So what can you get from the mountain? I have no idea, but I'm just going to collect some more berries so I'm safe for, All right. a, for a little while longer. Oh, it's a cactus. Oh, and I've also lost health. Oh, well, it's a spiky cactus. Yeah. What did you expect? I, uh, I didn't expect him to be so stupid. <laughs> What's your name? The Don Nishlings usually have names. Oh, not to st no, stop, stop with the cacti. Let's go to the mountains. Let's see what that is all about. Can I combine the berries? Yeah, but it doesn't do much. Oh, it's dusk and they are eating again. <laughs> Does he heal one in the, when he sleeps? No, he stays hurt. So Lof Karaman said he worked oh no, in we Kobo. Found the predator. Listen so, to me. Yes. <laughs> but I have to uh, it's all good. describe all the good. game. All good. I just um, Lof Karaman said he worked in Cobalt so many years now. He gets anxiety if he works for <laughs> anything higher than C. So you are living my nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> Because oh no, so many predators! I think I think we're pretty much dead. Yeah. Well, so I mean, that wasn't successful. Micha is a programmer for so many years. I mean, he programs. I don't know. I think with closed eye eyes, he could make a, a better game than I, <laughs> <laughs> or at least program it. Let's mate these nichelings twice, and then let's see how we can hatch these eggs. But you also see very uh, yes. beautiful programmer art here, by the way. I, yes, mean, this is I some think some stuff is from Philomena. Yeah, Philo added some, like the, probably this north or the forest. But or this the mountains. tree or this nicheling, definitely yep, Micha's that's, artwork. That's still programmer artwork. <laughs> uh, Katsu, yes, it is very much inspired by Stacklands, exactly. from what we've heard. But we didn't make it. It was one of our studio's Game Jam games. Yeah. So don't ask us what this is all about. So, uh, Zaid asked us how we met Robin. So, this is actually, I thought, like, why did Phila not tell the story in the Discord? Because they yeah. are actually friends for <coughs> probably now. I think they said today 10 12 years. years. 12 years. 12 years they've known each other. So, they, um, Marcus or animator Philo, 
our vision keeper and co-founder of the studio, and Robin uh, were in the same class uh, studying game design. And since then, they all wanted to work together, but Robin went to a B2B okay. game development company who does um, games for, for other companies. And uh, so there was never the right time. I, I think I kind of broke the game by pu putting two nicheling eggs onto the same nest because then it reset all my progress and now I have to wait. Let's speed it up a little bit. They are, oh no, they've murdered my nicheling. But this guy, I guess it's more food for this one. Oh no, the nest, where's the, where has the nest gone? I need more branches from the forest probe. Oh, it's another predator. I am super effed. <laughs> um, I think the game has ended itself. <laughs> okay, next game. <laughs> uh, I want to play it uh, for myself when I have some time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it, is, it, is, it has some teething problems, but... I think it has a lot of potential. I mean, for now you need a lot yes. of imagination and stuff. And it's it's and good. It's you don't super always flat. have a lot of lot to do, but... Yeah. I've never played Stacklands. Maybe I should also uh, play Stacklands to get more of an idea of what they're going for. I'm pretty sure. I mean, you, you can just scale this game limitlessly. Yeah. Good evening, Kato. And... Uh, any of you at the studio play miniature games? What do you mean by miniature yeah. games? It's just like very small, very short games or like games where you play with Legos? <laughs> or uh, is this what we are doing right now? Like <laughs> 10 minutes for a game, then skip. Into the next one, which is the Forest God game? Yeah, let's try it out. That was uh, a game by Naomi. Our, our new programmer. programmer who is currently working on controller or did all the Steam Deck um, mm -hmm. implementation and uh, Larissa who is our TikTok uh, Wonder Woman. <laughs> and of course not to forget Steffi who was yeah. our artist. Yeah, our lead artist here on the Wandering Village. And they have made a game inspired by Viva Piñata. Yeah. If any of you remember this 2000 probably 7-ish Xbox 360 classic. Was I mean, that uh, Xblo Xbox exclusive by then? Yeah, I think yeah. so. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> I've never played it myself. Neither uh, have I. But it's a, about fertilizing the lands, making them suitable, habitable for animals. There's a long bit of dialogue. May, we may, I, may I play it? Ah, miniature as in like little painted soldiers. I don't think so. Oh, I, I used to to play with miniature soldiers when I was a kid. I, I did uh, a lot. <laughs> but like Warhammer or something like that. Yeah, this. no, but more, I mean, the child's version, you know, yeah, like I, just I know the green the, man. The little green man, yes. Yeah. I, yeah. no, I never had anything like that. The closest I've gotten is like just painting D&D &D, uh, D &D miniature, but that's about it. So let's go. We have uh, this witch-like mouse. mouse hat and a <laughs> square owl on the head that says hi there young forest god i'm the earth spirit daichi and my companion sitting on my head is called fuko we are facing an enormous task and could use a helping paw if we plow the barren earth around the tiny wood tree beside me it might grow and flourish and with its rising power the land could transform to a habitat for many animals and plants again okay I think, so I think we are a forest god and we have to take care of this land and give it, bring back some life to this I think land. There's like a cross there, yes. Yeah. And, uh, oh, and the question mark. Oh, he says the same and thing. And a cross. Can and we, the, yeah, we move around. With oh, yeah, we just, we were here all the way, we just didn't see ourselves. You can see uh, we're <laughs> just a flat 2D. Yeah. So this is basically a miniature, just a very, very basic, cheap <laughs> one. But um, um, let's acquire some space, shall we? I, I as can't. you see, can there we? was time oh, for can. a great concept art, but no, uh, no time for 3D um, <laughs> work. Let me see. Earth. Ah, oh, okay. We can spread the earth around. Can, can we just have a brief look at the forest god? Yes, because, of course. Yeah, it's a beautiful thing. It has 
I'm it's a like mixture of different animals, right? It has like butterfly and or like dragonfly yeah. wings. Uh, right, dragonfly. It has like super basic. What is this? Wolf animal. Mm -hmm. Cyber anatomy. tooth. <laughs> Saber teeth, exactly, <laughs> and like a tree for antlers. <laughs> but let's uh, plant some more earth, I guess. I don't. I know you don't plant earth, but that's. And let's see if that gets us anywhere. Yeah, so... No, we don't have Warhammer people in our studio. I, mean, I think uh, we, Claudio has some background with it. But, um, so now there's a particle effect, which means we've gotten one energy from the world tree. I guess now we can acquire some space and put down some more Earth. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Warhammer, I, I know one guy from the Game Hub, which is right next door, the Swiss Game Hub. He's never here, but he's technically in the Game Hub. Only he mm -hmm. is a Warhammer guy, traditionally. So I've now spawned drill mice here, three of them, and we get... I know a little bit how this game works. We currently get a one-star rating, and once this habitat gets more suitable for the drill mice, we might even get a two or three star rating. So let's put down some grass. Ah yes, this microphone is very far away. Thank you. See that God was a child fashion model in The Simpsons? Do you remember this what? episode? I, I do don't. not. I do not, I neither. And I remember most Simpsons episodes. Yeah. <laughs> Well, I don't know how they, are, how they can get any happier unless... Ah, rocks. Uh, how do we place rocks? Ah, look. That's how we oh, place rocks. there's actual 3D in it. Yes, and now they're happy. So now we have seven energy. That's a lot. And now we can acquire some more space and try getting some different animals. Let's just plant... Oh, I everywhere. thought that would you, you would need some soil before you put the grass on. You can no, just I can just put the grass on directly. Yeah, some lawn on the stone makes a lot of sense, <laughs> right? Well, if you're a forest god, okay, n not a single animal likes this much grass. Maybe yeah, maybe it's just too much. Because, yeah, what animals can survive in, like, suburban lawns? <laughs> Floridians. Ah, now there's something and there's more drill mice. Isn't there anything cooler when we, if we put down some more? Hey, no gain, no prototype bashing. They haven't <laughs> had much time to But they, I, I'm just saying that because I know they have many more animals. Oh, I see, I see. But let's maybe make these drill mice feel good and then we have more energy and we can acquire more space and let's see if we can... Ah, maybe I have to go to the... Oh, well, it seems you attracted some other animals with the Could you please read it in a way that no. people understand what you're saying? <laughs> I can't understand. I, I, I'm a professional voice actor. Oh, I'm I see. Like... I'm very sorry. <laughs> Attracted some other animals with your actions. Spore chillas are really curious pals who like Ooh, a small pond and some shady spots. So like dark alleyways where they can buy drugs. Got it. Now let's try attracting some spore chillas, shall we? Ah. Okay, I, I do remember <laughs> this from The Simpsons. Now that Roger is showing it to me with the child model, with the super anorexic child model. <laughs> that turns around and turns invisible for like a second. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, but that's okay. pretty late into The Simpsons. Uh. <laughs> okay, this is... He said sportulas like ponds, but I do not have water yet. Maybe I have to attract them first. How do you get water then? No, I don't want any more drill mice. 
Come on, give me sport loss, man. Truthfully, I do not know. Just know that I don't want more drill mice. Maybe sport shellers really hate grass. What are you doing, friendo? Okay, sport shellers do not really hate grass. This is on me. Well, I don't know how to spawn sport shellers, do you? Do we need There's... to call for help? Uh, but is, is Steffi st still here? Maybe. Okay. I'll check. Go check. Out. <laughs> Maybe they want some stones. Just... So bad news. Everybody already went home. No the world's work is great. I see. see. Yeah, you know, maybe it's just a matter of opinion. <laughs> <laughs> well, your opinion does but not. But in my head, the voice would have been very differently. <laughs> but he's a little mouse fella. <laughs> <laughs> and also, your what, what has, what did your opinion start to matter? Since day one, before you were even born. That is true, because you're so much older, so incredibly much older. <laughs> Oh, I don't. I want. I want some sport chillers, but I can't get them. And still. Hey, no but what likes. about the stones? Maybe you need to. Yeah, I, I did put them here, and and I can't even click that anymore. The, oh, okay, was that a quest or what? No, that was. That's usually the indication that you some animal wants to live here. Yeah. But I can't click that anymore. So I'm just going to move on to the next plot. But what if you just put on some more stones? <laughs> hey, and it's still drill mice. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, I just can't click that one. I think I have to acquire more space if I want to try that. <laughs> Isn't it I'm just having like a real estate game? <laughs> <laughs> it's all free real estate. Uh, I, I ju I'm just having a big drill mouse farm, which is a shame because you guys should see the other animals. They're very beautifully drawn. But I cannot figure it out for the life of me. I'm sorry. I'll make a little circle. Sportula! Oh, here oh, we go! Yeah, there so, they what are. was the solution? I have no idea. <laughs> do they like stone? Yeah, they do like stone. Do they like even more stone? Maybe they wanted some. Yeah. Barren land that no one cares about. Do they like buttercups? Buttercups? Light Probably bulbs? Not that much. So to say. What is this? A leafy tree? It's like a Super Mario 64 tree. You yeah, know what totally. I mean? And some mossy stone. Oh no, we had mossy stone. Are those mossy stones? I think so. Some non mossy stones. Uh, I can't place them here. Ah, here. Well, they are happy enough. I'm okay with that. Up, they said they like water, but we don't hey, have but, any. So water. I gotta say the the game works pretty well. Yeah. Also, I'm I'm trying out new things. Good work to Larissa, Naomi, and Steffi for all that. Oh, there's even more content. Yeah, there's <laughs> there, there's there's quite a lot of content from what I've seen. That's tall grass. Leaf lizard or dragon bat? What sounds more appealing to you? Uh, dragon bat. Dragon bat. Oh. Dragon bat. Here's a dragon bat.
What else do dragon bats like? Like sand? Do they like sand? Not so much, probably. Like, do they like normal grass? Maybe they also like barren ground. Because no, it wasn't on two. Uh, that I mean, that bats live in caves. Or do you think do that like it Earth? has nothing to do with the original animal? Well, I don't know. I, I don't know any chinchillas that are really hyped about barren <laughs> wastelands. So. Ah, uh, it makes sense though. No? I don't know. Don't, they are from. Where do they live? They live in. Maybe Detroit. rocky desert. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Detroit apartments. <laughs> what do you guys like? Tell me. I don't know. Oh, ah, there is an indication. So they are not happy yet with the flowers. Mm. So they want more. Yeah, there was one f missing one flower. Sand. Okay, the sand. Do, you, do bats live in the desert, smart guy? Yes, they do. Probably. <laughs> I mean, not in the open desert, I would guess. Is that not enough sand for uh, as a as a Leo as a Leo? As a Leo, yeah. We we don't have to have do, do not think no. So now yeah, they just want water. Something else. And was there the indication from the start on? We just didn't see it. Probably. Good. The word tree has grown. And reached its second stage. By checking on the world tree, you'll find out what new species like to inhabit your garden and which are the useful things you're now allowed to use to make your garden even more beautiful. Oh, know what? There are leaf lizards who'd like to get invited to your garden. Find out what they prefer, they will happily populate your garden. <laughs> it's not Want some water? I Cheers. have my own water. Big water. Would you much rather like a banana? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see what else. We can't really see their names, but I can see that there's two we do not have. So let's try to get them and acquire more space, more real estate, more stonks, I guess. Let's get the game is awesome. Next lizard. game. Wait, I want to see the leaf lizard. That's leaf oh. lizard. What does leaf lizard like? Leaf so trees, you can really sand. see that Steffi knows a lot about drawing cool characters. She also drew Ombu, of course, in the Wandering Village. Is that not enough sand? Oh, that was too much sand, actually. Okay, that's enough sand. And then leafy tree and stones, eh? Let's give him some leafy trees. Some so leafy trees. I can see you're already addicted. And some it's stones. A, it's approved. Hey, there's so many of them. Look at them go. Yeah, but that's pretty nice. Hmm. It's quite a big, big garden. Understandably simple, but very nice. Look at him go. It's rotating. I just need funky. Let's go. Play. Let's go. I want to see your game. No, there's not a game from Marcus. Yes. It's called the Dick Story Dick with story. a G. With a G. Yeah, yeah. With a G. <laughs> Dig. <laughs> That's already established for everybody, okay? Nobody thought of any <laughs> other combination. Oh no, we're drowning. Oh no, so, we're drowning. How do I play this? Oh no, I'm drowning. This plays I'm like Crap Adventure. Do you know the game? <laughs> I, I have so no idea how to play this. Look, there's a problem with this game. It was not meant to be uh, working on a better machine than Marcus. So it's uh, locked to the frame rate and now it's way faster than it would normally play. Ah, so okay. just that I, you I, I see how you play it. Probably. Yes, okay, I see how you play it. So yeah, you're this little minor guy. Look at him. So what's the story of this game? Uh, as I remember, uh, this Indiana Jones guy, <laughs> or this this uh, the digging yes. digging boy, uh, he has a lot of depth. As you see he on the top left, pickaxe, and yeah. now he's uh, 
basically ruined his life. So he's he minus 50k in debt because he bought a really fancy pickup. By the way, this is a reference to the real world where miners in some third world countries or also in America, I think, were during the gold yeah. digging times, um, were so in a gold rush that they bought a lot of expensive equipment and couldn't even then get the money back with the gold digging itself. So this is also his story. And now he just digs deeper and deeper. And every time you make it up again to the oh, surface, no. you'll lose a little bit or you get rid of some depth. Now it's just not easy, right? Yeah, it's very hard actually. Because there's water everywhere. <laughs> it's all procedurally generated from what I understand. So the cave is different each time you play. Oh no. No. The water, it's hate, it hates and me. The, the engine he used was... Uh, Love 2D, I think Love it's 2D. Yeah. Which sounds like some weep thing, but... Do you know the programming language? What's used there? Oh, no idea. Is it, does it make sense if I guess that it's Pico? Probably not. Okay. I guess it's <laughs> something like Lua or something like huh. that, but... Yeah, well, no, I'm no expert on this engine that he used. But he likes to, to, using these little 2D engines for smaller projects. Hey, Which probably it's cool. pretty good for prototyping. Yeah. I mean, I think it's cool. I've, I've made some Bitsy games, if you know anything about Bitsy. It's a game, I think you have 64 by 64 pixels and uh, two colors. Bitsy. <laughs> oh, uh, oh also it reminds me of Minesweeper, right? Because uh, sometimes you just get a yeah. lot of uh, Water new or... real estate again. Or a lot of open down, ground. Die, because I, I lost one point of health from falling too far. You're dying. I know. Oh. Not anymore. Oh no. Perfect. Okay, but how do you get up again? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe maybe you can just like it's like you can get out in um, if you are in Switzerland you can get out in New Zealand in the end <laughs> on the other end of the planet. It's like uh, Terraria. I feel like it's more like uh, it reminds me of Terraria as Spelunky. well. Spelunky. I think Spelunky was also like part of the inspiration. And uh, Love Caraman is inspired by uh, Hardware Shipbreakers, a game where you disarm. The spaceship for parts. <laughs> but just because of your astronomical, the astronomical debt factor. Ha! Huh. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh, but you can swim Highly up. Highly skilled play. Yeah, you're not bad. I want to get back up and get rid of my almost 50 gold. Hey, hi, Nifty. Um, how do I get up here? Come on. <laughs> the search cell oh. is still keen to translate it by his own hand to Slovakian language. <laughs> uh, he's a hardcore fan. I gotta thank you for that. But I told him like five times that he should not overdo it <laughs> because it's just a lot of work. So, um, yeah. Get up there. Yes. Nice. How's it going? We're doing really good. Uh, we are currently trying out all the prototypes that we did uh, in a game jam just before Christmas. So this is our uh, Marcus game uh, from our Iron Major, the guy who did all the characters. And uh, no. <laughs> so he did a Terraria like digging game. I still um, call it a spin how are you right? doing? I at least want to get this gold back up there and then I'm, oh no, I'm done. Then we can play the next, oh no, I can't jump. It needs some Minecraft mechanic where you can place a block to get over things like that. That would be cool. No. 
All, all of it for naught. Hey, but are you, are you now trying to get up? Yep. Okay, I'm good. I'm actually trying to get up. Maybe you'll finish the... No! Actually, you know what I think? You're Okay. Oh, no! no. <laughs> I am defeated. But it's still cool that it's yeah. um, it's all procedurally generated and you're still like still hoping to get an exit. No, so, oh, the water. Oh, is... It was on zero. Did you see it? Yeah. Or maybe you just lose some yeah, health. Probably. I, I haven't died yet. And actually, I think you're playing it better than Marcus himself. The water is very weird here. Perfect. I'm the man. <laughs> and this is my previous escape route here and ah oh, yeah, yes it led me back here right it was useless worthless now just want to get my 65 gold to the surface come on i'm motivated to do that Collecting more gold. Hey Arno. Yes. I love to see you playing, but yes. um, no, I want to get to the surface. Time is running out, and we should continue. Stick to the next game. People it's not still want to see me. our. No, we have a lot to show still. You know. Yes, but I, I'm I'm gonna make it. I mean, people. I'm what do you? Fiercely determined. Now we just have limited limited time. People, what do you think? Should we stick to this game and watch Arno play a little bit more? But then look at the no. big How animal. How did the water or, get through there? Okay. Oh. Okay, uh, and off. yeah, <laughs> that's great because I think we still have so much to show. And uh, yeah, wandering village prototypes are way. That's like the thing. They are oh. all just waiting for the grand finale. But first. I want to play a game as well. You want to play it? Yeah, sure. Can we change seats? I think we it's can a little bit seats. better to be there. But I'm, I'm still gonna do the voices. No. Yes. You can do like you can, I can do, do one the, voice. Yeah, you do a voice, and I do a voice. You do the of the character sitting to the left, and I do the other one. That's perfect. Let's go. So of course, I also made a game during our game jam. And we are playing this last because I think I think after that we've played every single one, haven't we? Yeah. Um, pretty pretty sure, yeah. Um, the game is called Father Reaches. And uh, do you want to say something about the game before we start? Um, during the 2021 game jam, I tried making a multiplayer game. It was a spectacular failure because not even Unity's sample project for their multiplayer API was working. So this time around, I wanted to make something that's finished after five days. Okay. So I made a little story <laughs> game. Hey, so let's uh, head into it. I gotta say, I really enjoyed this game. I uh, hope you will too. And promise cool. me you will put it on itch. Yeah, I, 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 I probably will do that. Yeah, I've heard it. Maybe turn your speakers up a little. It's very quiet during these parts. That's your character. Okay, should we make it somewhat louder? Uh, yeah, we can. Uh, which one is the desktop audio? Yeah. Wow, there's nothing there. Yeah. May or maybe here also. Just if I. Yeah, maybe. No, yeah, I now there's a little bit. Ooh, that's pretty loud. Okay, maybe go back where yeah. you were and I just go up. Hard to say. It's there's a little bit there, just a tiny little bit. But the, the stupid window sound is very loud. But um, yes. okay, let's stick to that for now. And everybody, if you, oh, all prototypes done in Unity, all but the last one. Uh, now you've already clicked past the first dialogue. That's not <laughs> cool. Start again. Fresh start for the reaches by. Arno. Which is me. I'm Arno. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Arno. Yes, Nifty, that's the last prototype. So. Come on now. It's a r relatively safe. 
but I'm afraid of heights. And I can't see a damn thing. And this lantern is pathetic. Does this happen often? Oh, like um, once or twice a week. Uh, you'll get used to it. Now, get a move on. This is the first clear night in weeks. There, happy. See, it's it's not so scary. Mm. It's fascinating, isn't it? Unfathomably far away. Many of them dead for millions of years, but their lights from where they were are still alive. Uh, were still alive reaches us only now. And throughout all of human history, though it was only a blip, humans have tried to find patterns, a sign, a meaning to them. But with the light of this planet soon fading, I uh, wonder if someone out there will, be, uh, will try to find meaning in us as well. Hmm. I don't know about that, but we could also try it. Uh huh. Making sense of the stars. Wait, I'll start. And now we zoom up into the stars. It's pretty loud. There we go. What do you think? Mm. Um. <laughs> well, what does it look like to you? Tell me about it. I think that looks like... Um, chat, what does it look like? Uh, we press one more, you have two options. Is it either a spaceship or is it an ombu? Hmm. Waiting what for might you. it be? Meanwhile, I'll uh, answer a question here. Or I'll, um, did each of you work alone on the prototypes? No, you did the prototype yeah, alone, both, I did. We both did it alone, but not everyone in the yeah, studio. Now, Micha and Filomena, the co-founders of Stray Fund, they did it together. And as well, uh, Naomi, our second programmer with Larissa, which is our social media TikTok girl. And Steffi, our art lead, did a project together. Driven from our homes by the toxic spores. I guess that's not a vote for Ombu. We kept wondering, looking for shelter. <laughs> but not in our wildest dreams did we imagine what we would find. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's uh, by heart. <laughs> so what do you think does that look like, people? Well, maybe we should just play it. I think it's going to take too long for each and every decision in the game. Maybe, maybe. I'll give some more seconds. No, just for the, for the first one. I want to see if we have more Wandering Audience Village retention. or Nimbatos fans. Is there anyone who has played Nimbatos in the chat? I would love that. Probably but I not. Probably don't think so, no. <laughs> so, hmm. Let's just pick. I'll just continue and say, I think that looks like. I also think that's. Nonbu. Woo! What in the world is an Ombu? A mythical creature, a giant that could carry entire cities on its back. Humans used to share stories about them for many years. Okay, my turn. And now it's his turn. He can draw his own now star I... sign, I guess. Hmm. It looks like that photograph of the president's foot. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I remember. Have you seen it? Uh, yeah. They say that was all that was left of him after the palace was destroyed. Okay, how about this one? Is it mm. figure in a trench coat or end strong man, which is a typo that I have to correct. 
It's in figure in a trench coat. <laughs> in figure in a trench coat. It's, sh it's shoulders crooked. It's shoulders. Reminds me of a shivering man. The shivering man? Sometimes when it's dark, you can see him standing under the old street lights. Not doing anything, just standing there, sh shivering and watching. Are you trying to scare me? Uh, n no. Mm, let's see. Now it's your turn again. Draw us a nice picture. A woman in a long gown. I'd say it's the matron saint of witches. What's her name? Mm, you mean Ortega? That's the one. She lives with her coven in a cave somewhere, right? Uh, that's what the legends say, yeah. If I find them, I'm absolutely gonna join them. <laughs> I like this one. Let's see what you think. Is it a human torso or two tall figures? Mm, I see a human torso. I think it's a human. You can see the shoulders, waist and hips. Uh, reminds me of that woman whose murals are all over the harbor. I think I'm seeing it. Who was she? I didn't know her, but apparently she gave her life to defend the city. Of course, it was all useless in the end. Just a tiny cog and a huge machine and only the locals remember her now. And the remains of her sentinel are still watching over the bay. That was kind of depressing. Anyway, my turn again. It is indeed your turn again. <laughs> it's a person holding something. Reminds me of that photo of the man with the torch. I remember that. Did they ever find out who he was? I don't know. Don't think so, though. He was likely disappeared along with the rest of the protesters. Damn. Hold on, is that star moving? Mm, I don't think that's a star. Is that? Y yeah, I, I think so. It's the UN space station. I heard it's only got a few months left before it falls out of orbit. Not surprising, since all but one crew member evacuated years ago. I wonder why they stayed behind. And if they are watching us as, as well. Hmm. <laughs> That's a very fucked up tie, but <laughs> easy, a tie. <laughs> <laughs> wow, haven't seen one of those in ages. Boomers. <laughs> <laughs> and they used to be everywhere. Well, yeah, but it never did look good. And the people wearing them properly fucked everything up. Impressive, considering they made both of, both of us and the Sentinels. Ah, uh, well, didn't they didn't really make anything. They merely took us and and used us. By the way, hi Atronash. If that's how you pronounce it. Hmm? Hey, I think the power's back. Already? Yep. 
Well, that was fun. Time to head back inside. Hold on. Let's stay just, just a little longer. There's something I want you to see. Wow, it's beautiful, isn't it? <laughs> light of the screen, <laughs> the light of the sunken city. Once they were shining with purpose, now they do so out of habit. Ah, uh, I would have loved to see this place when it was still alive. It's very loud on the windows, but <laughs> and the song text has farther reaches. Which I like. It's very quiet over here. No, this is indeed not the Wandering Village. And yes, Ada, the stars do tell different stories when you connect them in a different order. <laughs> it was kind of hard from the audio balancing perspective because uh, it's very quiet in places, but... Prototypes. Yeah. How did you like it? <laughs> He did this all in just like one week? Five days, yeah. And I drew all the art assets myself and so on. I'm not an artist, but I think it turned out pretty well. <laughs> hey, and... Uh, and Atronash, we are now getting to something else that doesn't look like the Wandering Village, but most certainly is the Wandering Village. Just one thing, did you read that they just got the news? Yeah, yeah, the ISS. ISS was about to go down? I didn't know. Is it like actually going down? I, I know they, they are trying to, or they are planning to dispose of it in the Pacific at okay. some point. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I guess you can take the seat here again. Yes. And you can take care of the audio balancing again. That's not one of my talents. <laughs> Neither mine. <laughs> What? Okay, so as we've promised before, it's not only the prototypes from our last year's game jam that we are playing today, which we just did, we've played all of them. Uh, we're also going to show you some very early footage of the Wandering Village. Yeah, the OG you can call it that. Ombu. <laughs> Let's go out of this Game Jam folder and into the Wandering Village folder because we have unearthed free. Well, yeah. not, not not even builds, just free. We got really visuals. way back into <laughs> yeah. our uh, Google Drive to look for old prototypes, and, and uh, there's a treasure or two yeah, hidden there. there. Are, there were also different prototypes, but they were mostly like learning experiences or only visual prototypes made for like very early funding. But everything we're going to show you now is actually the basis for the Wandering Village as you see it today. So let's go all the way back to, what is this, February of 2020. That is three years ago. Damn. And back <laughs> then... This video game looked like this. This is just a video, but... Ta-da! <laughs> Look at this graphics! Can you see it? It's the Wandering Village. Amazing! <laughs> Fantastic video game. Hey, but these pe people look like ants. They are ants! <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Uh, that's prototype number one. Can we play it? No. Is it just a self-playing thing? Yes, I, I think maybe if you like... Uh, Is it the video? It's yeah, just it's a video. The video. <laughs> maybe in, if, if you were like uh, in the Git, going yeah. back to the earliest commit, it would look something like this. And then you could actually play it, <laughs> I guess. But uh, yeah, that was February of 2020. Let's go into something that's actually playable. It does look like an Atari game, and, uh, yeah, totally. especially from the colors. Let's go, what is this? March, end of March. <laughs> is this the, the for, uh, long forgotten E.T. game? <laughs> <laughs> We've just unearthed it in New Mexico. <laughs> yeah. 
Let's go into March of 2020 and you can see it has made quite significant strides in the meantime. It is the Wandering Village, kind of. <laughs> so uh, what you see here is just like the old designs. Yes, and with some old trees. This, these are probably out of the visual prototypes. Yeah. Also the villagers. And... Uh, this is Ombu. And look at this beauty. Look, I can also move the camera in here and show you Ombu. And I can probably move the camera very far oh, away now that I think about sure. it. <laughs> Goodbye, Ombu. But let's go back. Yeah, there, there are the villagers do be wandering. It's a village and it makes you So wander. can we play this? Um, that's a very good question. We have some resources. Oh, we have a slider the old for free worker sliders. Yes. I never liked it. And neither did I. Let's see if the foresters, uh, where we do need wood. Oh, we have wood. Let's see if the foresters actually start this, uh, destroying the forest. Uh, what, what do you call this? Lumberjacking? No way. Jacking is um, entirely. Cut the trees. Cut down the trees, yeah. <laughs> and also they, they're... Cons oh, no. Hey. Are they already poisoned? The no, way I, th I think like that, that all the workers from the uh, forest hut are just colored like this. Ah, okay. But like for one frame, they change color, or if you hover over them. Yeah, so if you hover think. over them, they all change color. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I guess. Oh, there's just the PNG. <laughs> oh of my god! <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. Fantastic. Yeah, but they are now making wood, so you can actually play that part. Ah, it was also the old mechanics where you had to have housing to get new villagers. So let's... Put down some huts. Oh no, there's an act of God. There are rumors going around of a wondrous... Wondrous. It sounds like a Pokemon. Plant. What can it do? Will it be a relief for all sufferance and pain? Oh Very God. creative it used English. To be a god game. And uh, back then, housing um, just produced new people when you threw food into it. Oh. So that was a very weird mechanic and probably the first thing I changed. Think, yeah, I don't think it's so weird. <laughs> I mean, no, if you. There should be another condition like people with food but no jobs. <laughs> <laughs> so. But let's see if the farm does anything and probably also make a quarry here. Ooh, the trees are actually growing. Yeah, you can see much of what would become the wandering village is kind of in here. That was almost three years back. So what the fuck were we doing in the meantime? <laughs> Well, we did quite a lot, as you may, be, may, may see in the next prototype. Yeah, that's the thing. If you make a prototype, you can get pretty yeah. far or as in a short before, amount of time. As you've seen before, I made that entire game in five days. Yeah. So. And as this is still, I think, from my perspective, pretty uh, honorable or, or just like really a, a big thing. Um, the more you have to polish a game, yeah. it's just the, it's, it the expands broad, on the amount of time that you need to, to make it. The broad strokes are in place pretty quickly, but then it's the fine detail that takes a lot of time. Because yeah, the, the next prototype, is, which is only a few months from this one, looks pretty good already, but it plays like nothing. I was, to that, was, was that um, for... Uh, that like was I think after the Kickstarter actually. Oh, okay. That was so I, it was I, That was the last version. That was the last build before I got on the project actually mm. that, that I took down. Because you were working on niche, uh, breed and evolve. Yes, niche mobile, the mobile game yeah. version of niche. The devils, a devils work. So it's one of many devils. Remember that for Wandering Village lore, there are many devils. No, that's, that's not official lore. <laughs> A scout has come back with terrible news. The evil that plagued our lands has followed us to this new place. We must eradicate it. Okay, so there is a poison plant growing right in front of our huts. Um, how do decontamination? Yeah, that's got probably going to destroy it. As you can see, our quarry guys are quarrying with axes, and the logo is like a bulldozer. <laughs> 
<laughs> which is very in keeping <laughs> with the theme. <laughs> yeah, that's that's totally in the story. Like people have bulldozers uh, mm-hmm. that work with <laughs> fuel, all, all just regular wandering village lore. <laughs> also, why is there a, is that a thermometer on the decontaminator? What is that? Uh, or is that a, I have no idea? Is that, what a, it is, be. is that an iron or a knife or something on top of it? Yeah. Or the entire thing is just like an iron. Hey, <laughs> it's know. not for us to blame yes. people that no, should I, actually I not take the time to make I'm good drawings. I'm not blaming anyone. <laughs> but I just say I'm just saying it looks kind of funny. <laughs> Look at this little storage silo. It's, it's tall as a man. No, I just like uh, I don't know. I just say the Tannenzapfen. Look at the door. And, uh huh. <laughs> From the storage side. The best PNG is still the. Yeah, on the top uh, look the at this pine cone pine cone Fantastic. that's great oh, a master's <laughs> artwork um okay let's build this pretty quickly because uh god there is so and storage looks like a shroom uh where's the storage this is the storage uh-huh, it's like a i see shroomy where it has a cap <laughs> apart from that i mean shroom caps are usually round aren't they Also, how can we get something to eat? There's no kitchen. It took us also a really long time to figure out the best uh, scale for yeah, the stuff. Yeah, I mean, there's beets and uh, the beets are growing very weirdly out of place. But uh, I don't know how to harvest the beets. Well, maybe that was not implemented at this stage. Probably. And also, if they, if these gentlemen would hurry up and make my decontaminator, I would be very most grateful. But by then, like Ombu had not a big influence in the game. Yes, not he? at all. There was uh, even right. the next build. There was nothing happening with Ombu. Yeah. So it is really just city builder. Yes. And we knew that we will tangle it together somewhere. <laughs> but yeah, I know that there's the devil at work. But uh, are you are you working? Oh no, you are employed by the farm. Uh, this well, has no workers. So he's purple, so something's wrong. Um, okay, the farm has no workers at all. You guys have a full storage, so maybe you could go work in the decontaminator. Yes, which they do instantly. Look at them go. Just with their bare axes. Oh no, this one is growing outside of the decontaminator's range. Do you remember when the decontaminator had a range? Yes. It was bad. <laughs> ah, well, the way it was implemented wasn't yeah. good. Having a range is not... Yeah. Uh, I would still be up for having like this, this uh, pole that you can set, so you can actually set the range. Well, there's the, that's in the next... Uh, uh, something like that is in the next prototype, actually. So uh, should we wrap this up? Yeah. I think we've seen this one. Look at our beautiful... I just have, I have to show you the, the eye. Beautiful. Look at him. Fantastic. But Majestic. I still think it has more polygons than the the current one. <laughs> Possibly, yes. I mean, this is pretty smooth here. Yeah. But this is also not very high poly. Yeah, I see. Well, here he certainly does not have more sure, polygons. Sure, sure. <laughs> yeah, very early on. Of course, there's also no menu, so I have to alt alt f afford it hey look but like the poison oh. infection is oh, real damn <laughs> okay that, that happened pretty quickly oh that also reminds me like one of the more earlier uh, versions of the game where the where poison, the poison is... spread uncontrollably that wasn't actually mm. that long ago <laughs> hey uh we are we will have a, a screen cap as yeah. well so I think we're Do recording. You, are, we, are we recording the whole thing? No, we'll have the video on demand ah, on Twitch. I, f- yeah. I forget how Twitch works. Yeah. I'm too old. Um, to some. Let's. While we are jumping from one game to the other, actually, I'm thinking about having a recorder between the two workstations too. Yeah, that would make because, sense. Because, like, downloading from Twitch takes a long time and does gives it? a really. Yeah, yeah it does. Okay. And it gives a bad, uh, bad video, video format to continue yeah. working with it. So, so the, the previous build was from March. This one is from November 2011. Mm-hmm. Uh, from November 2010, I'm sorry. 2010. 
2020. Oh my god, I'm so old. <laughs> but yeah, this is from November and you can see it looks way better. Actually, kind of close to final animations on these guys. I hope it's okay if I eat my banana in stream. Yes, I think that's not illegal. You okay. can do that. Unless, you're, unless it's being shown in the country of Norway. What, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you can see uh, it's the wandering village. It looks like the wandering village. And that village certainly do be wandering. Um, I've paused it. No, it's no, it's paused. So what's the same? What's different? The UI uh, is still the same. Pretty as, much the same. Yes, as it was before. As you before. can see, here are the the same building mm -hmm. UI things. Here's the same worker management thing. Uh, the the system with the tiles, as you can see, if you select the plant and mm -hmm. you have the tiles shown, is also still the same. The way the jobs are being distributed is the same. So pretty much mo most of the thing that ha things that happened between March and November of 2020 were visual in yeah. nature. And as you said, you really like the trees. I really right? like the trees yeah. in this version. We should bring them back. <laughs> <laughs> I think they were pretty. Yeah. yeah. And I, I think Atrinash like agrees because they write trees. <laughs> now here, uh, it doesn't look so much different than yeah, nowadays, but these are other sprites mm -hmm. than we have nowadays. So we did a rework on all, all of this. But I can understand why we did that because it does it, it, it is kind of noisy in a way. Yeah, it is noisy. Yeah, it's a mixture between actually it's not so dense, yeah. but it's, it's still noisy. And uh, some entirely different mechanics in here. First of all, there was decorative grass everywhere. I think decorative grass is cool. It's great. I'd love to bring it back. Problem is here it was a, a, an actual occupant. So whenever you wanted to put down a building, the people that first had to go there and kill the grass on every tile. So that was not ideal. Um, you, you can see there are like branches and stone shards lying around. So every now and then these stones would just reproduce and mm -hmm. basically spawn a sh stone shard somewhere around them. And you would collect them by placing a collector flag. You didn't have like tools to mark them. I still like this system. I think it's a pain. <laughs> um, and as you can see that the grass is blocking our our collector flags. And why is why it a pain? Is... I mean, because then he's like, I don't know. I think it's both both ways work. Bring the trees back. I'm also in favor of the, of trees. Yeah, uh, these trees are cool. But yeah. I guess that's all at the art director's discretion. I, I can understand that they are pretty noisy from a visual perspective. And also they are not collecting the stones. I'm not sure you can even collect these stones other than with buildings. It's only, uh, they are only collecting like the thing that gets thrown out. So very quickly, these guys will have mm -hmm. nothing to do and you have to like so, tear this collector flag down again. Yeah, so that's why it's yeah, yeah but it should then give you a warning or something, you know. It does like, give you a warning, but yeah, it's, it's, um, it's a lot of extra work. But now if you, if you want to place a building there, it's not possible because you cannot so say yes. which stones should be taken away. And that's exactly, the, first of all, that. And uh, the collector flag is just a lot of extra head headroom work for our guys because they have to place it, they have to maybe destroy what's underneath it, and then they have to take it away again. Well, there are games that use it, and yes. I was not complaining uh, about it. I've played Float some where they used this, but then they auto destructed when there was nothing to collect anymore. Uh, what do you mean? Oh, the, the flag. Yeah, the flag. Yeah. And, and also it didn't cost anything to place and was not a, a field occupant. No, it should not. It yes. should not cost anything. I, I don't no, also think it doesn't cost, a... cost anything, yeah. but it still work for the people. Hmm. Also, like, there are some basic animal stats you can see here. Also, you can see Ombu's Trust, which is a barely implemented feature. I don't think it does anything. It just goes up every second. So Ombu is pretty much always at full tr trust in this version. So yeah, you see this collector flag has nothing to do anymore. Let's tear it down. Then maybe we should place a quarry or a forester somewhere. Um, let's place the forest in here. Why not? The middle of the trees. Ah, the trees are just destroyed underneath. They don't even have to remove them. Did you get any wood out of it? No. Okay. 
I did not. Ooh, the pine cones are also still in here, but not PNGs anymore. Oh. <laughs> and let's also place a quarry. Hi, hi. Hey, look. The floor still looks the same. Yes. I mean, the green is a different green It's now. a different tint of green, yeah. yeah. This is kind of more subtle. I, I also don't dislike it. I think it's a little bit too desaturated. It's, yeah, it's a little drab. Yeah. I agree. Um, let's see. Oh, they, these guys have nothing to work with. Hi, user. Now, where did the wood from the collector flag go? Did, this, did, did we deconstruct it along with the collector flag? That wouldn't be good. Yeah, I, I think if you deconstruct the collector, all the wood that was in the collector disappears. Hello. Hello. This? Hello. <laughs> Uh, let's see what else we can do. Uh, there's lots of stuff like, ooh, a well that gathers water while it rains. Interesting. I'd love to bring that back. It never rains in this version. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when is rain coming to the game? Yes. When is rain coming? <laughs> then we could uh, actually um, nerf the, the air wells a little bit, you know? Yeah. Because they are now like they were like the only source of water, so they had to be kind of good. But yeah, um, we're also cacti, but only if it's in hot biomes. Okay, right. Yes. And uh, the next biome is gonna have new ways of getting water, and maybe, uh, but only for that biome. Maybe we're also gonna introduce like some. I mean, there's this one new mechanic that would allow us to get water. Which one? I don't understand what you mean. Are you hiding something from the people? <laughs> Well, well, you'll see. Uh, you'll, you'll see next month. Yeah. Also, there's berries. How do we harvest the berries? Let me see. <laughs> People like the sixty-four Oops. time speed. Ah. Yeah, that's like uh, dev developer speeds. Yes. Um, <laughs> in in the developing build of the current Wandering Village, you can actually go up to one hundred times, times. hundred. Yes. Yeah, because so I mean, if I want to test something, I just want to rush through it. I put it in a cheat that I can't die, and I just go like <laughs> full Michael Schumacher, <laughs> and that's like yeah. <coughs> yeah. So with the berry collector flag, they actually collect berries around us, but they destroy them, unlike in the current version. I think they regrow also pretty quickly here. Ah, and of course, back then the farm needed separate seeds, so you first had to throw food into a seed farm to produce seed to get. Mm -hmm. Also, more interesting yeah. um, pros and cons, right? So, um, let's see. Ah, also, the horn blower was in the game, and you could place it anywhere. Maybe I want to do that. Thing which I think is interesting with the seeds that you could like then say, hey, will you use the seeds that will, I don't know, fly just on top of Ombu from the environment from other trees on the ground, or will you buy some GMO seeds? <laughs> there are so the few branches around. I can't. So is this the last prototype we have so far? Mm, we also, of course, we have the demo build and stuff like that. Sure. Okay. But this is like the last one that's really different in, a way, in many ways. So you want to set yourself a goal? Um. um <laughs> or actually. I just fine with there's that. There's not much of a goal. By the way, look, we used to have clouds. Yeah, but it just didn't look good from I think from this view. It actually looks quite okay. No, I, think, I think it didn't. I mean, I think it, it was like the cloud shadows looked weird, wasn't it? I don't huh. know why we why we don't have clouds anymore. <laughs> yeah, but uh, of course we didn't have a world map back then, so I can scroll out as far. Oh as yeah, I right. 
And also, there's uh, absolutely nothing happening in this view. Yeah, so Never. back then it was like, hey, will we actually make an interesting game with Ombu? Because there was no world map and yeah. this view is, is cool, but not from a mechanic. There are also already three yeah. biomes in this version. I tested it earlier. It yeah. takes uh, like 66 in-game minutes to get to the next biome. <laughs> so like, you play for more than an hour. Yeah. And the only difference is the jungle biome has poison, I think. Mm -hmm. And I don't think there's any way to cure poison from Onbu in this version. Oh. Because there's no doctor or anything. Yeah, yeah. But there's an aviary, an animal trainer, yes, uh, the, and a the bird the, trap. This is going to come back. I can say that much because we promised, promised it in the Kickstarter. It will. It's going to come back in an entirely different way because in this way it doesn't work at all because there are no birds in this version. <laughs> so there were just buildings but yes. no birds. There is, there is an event that I think it's on F2 that triggers birds but you can't do anything with them. It was just for the trailer. I ah, yeah, I remember. But well, these were also more... You actually see that these are decorative birds. Decorative birds. Yeah. There they are. Oh, <laughs> I want them back. Yeah, yeah I, I think they're going to come back in some capacity. Uh, we just love to take things out, right? Like, oh. Yes. <laughs> well, because it, it never worked in the first yeah. place, but there, it's going to go back in. I promise. <laughs> it took really long to make this. <laughs> I can imagine, yes. I think there's w one other event in this also for the trailer. It's, uh, thank, I think, the Poison Cloud, exactly. A very early version of the Poison Cloud, which doesn't actually have any poison in it. It just looks like it. Yeah, and it was really hard on the FPS. Yes, uh, we, we had like, at one stage, I think we had like ground fog. Yeah. And it was absolutely yeah, yeah, tanking yeah. everything. And we, we couldn't put that in the way it was. Um, so people, if you have any more questions, let us know because I think we'll soon wrap the session up. And uh, also, if you have anything that you would like to see in a future um, episode of our developer stream, let us know. Uh, oh no, uh, there is poison! Oh my wow. god, I didn't know that! And look, it's the same acid that are still, still in the game. <laughs> is there a decontaminator already? Yes, it's the same one that looks like the weird so um, it's not a soldering eye. Are the cheats? The cheats are in the game. Some of them. So let's build ourselves a decontaminator. And start decont uh, okay, it's also one of those radius decontaminators. And also it has like most of the finished graphic in it. <laughs> most of it. <laughs> it's like just one layer. Yeah, it's kind of, kind of missing the. Oh yeah, back then, like all the houses were just on uh, on the C axis, which is in one layer, probably. Mm. There was no parallax effect. Ah uh, no! Also, Ombu's health is going down rapidly because he's fully poisoned, which was only twenty five at the end. Hey, we were asked if there's an animation for the wind storm when Ombu gets through it. So, if there's a special animation, if you get through a storm. Hey, good idea. No, there is not. No. So, but it would be cool yes. if he kind of like really I, drags I himself through I, the storm. I want to make these storms into a little more of an event anyway. Like with... Yeah. I mean, maybe they some, were placed in, they're still not yes. polished. So... Like with a little bit of screen shake and different music and drama. Uh, what has been the one thing you've wanted to add to the game the most, but can't or haven't been able to? That's so hard to decide. <laughs> what do I add, want to add into the game? More betterness. I want to make it better in pretty much all ways. <laughs> hey, I mean, it's not the most useful, but if I see that in this prototype, there's still like the same, uh, how do you say, um, ground transitions yes. from the, <laughs> the soil to the, to, the, to the green, I think. That's just something that I wanted to have in the game for really long because you look at it all the time and the full screen, uh, it, it, yeah, it's on the, the complete screen. So why didn't we change Another it? Another reason why the connectors were a bad idea. They actually have employees. So if you don't deconstruct them, you don't have any employees. 
But if you deconstruct them, you lose all the few resources they have. Mm. Well, wasn't a good idea. I, f I don't think. Um, <laughs> now, what what would I like to see besides that in the future? Hey, I'm really eager to finally be working on some more story bits because uh, I think from the, the there's some world building in the game, but it's still very bare bones. So I want people to continue to dream what what's was this world before the apocalypse happened Deep. With, uh, yes of course we have very few workers because it's still one of those versions where you have to throw food into a hut to create workers Ooh, the hut has also has contemporary graphics most of them Ah, or Thank you. decontaminators without any fire. But they're completely outmatched, they can't do anything properly. <laughs> you can spawn some more, maybe. Yeah, I, I, but I don't have enough. I Can I spawn workers already? Yeah, hey, yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. <clears throat> and then uh, place some more decontaminators. Let's decontaminate this place. Could you spawn some more workers, please? What, like 250? <laughs> <coughs> so yeah, all the, all of this stuff was so, was already working back then, but of course, yeah, was a lot harder to play in many ways, I think. Um, yeah, I think uh, that's a really good spot to to take a break or to actually wrap it up. Mm -hmm. um, could you just pinpoint the camera towards all the villagers to say well, goodbye? First of all, I, I want to show them the different biomes back then and how long it actually took to get there. I see, I see. Also, no day and night, of course. Yeah. Or time of day or anything like that. But ha how is it like a day has 60 minutes? No, or what? There, I don't there, there is no oh, day. that's just a play time. That's just a play okay. time, yes. <clears throat> Hey, it looks like it's transitioning to the desert. And, huh, it was very smooth. But when I played it before, there was like a Breaking Bad Mexico filter moment. Ah, it's orange oh, yeah, now. yeah. We had, we had some trouble with that. I remember. What language did you use for the game? English? Uh, no, of course, uh, C-sharp. <laughs> yeah. Hey, it's all made in Unity, so mm -hmm. it's a clear C-sharp thing. Java programmer, a lot of regrets. Hey, but don't be. Yeah, I mean you can learn one thing if you know the other. Uh, I mean these old decontaminators were spectacularly stupid. Let's look at this in two times speed. It's always the same plants that they uh -huh. burn. Yeah, yeah, and then it grows again. Mm -hmm. Then they burn it. It grows again. They they, they don't do it. anything. Hey, it's good enough yeah. for a trailer. Absolutely. That's so I think we, we did the Kickstarter trailer with oh. this build. Of course, there's one more thing which I haven't moved over mm. and even later prototype. Mm. The small animal game. Hey. But uh, we're probably around wrapping it up, yes. Yeah. Sorry for that. Also, I there's don't a, like a Seth screen. So let's Seth that. Seth, <laughs> Seth. <laughs> <laughs> Oof, it jumped quite violently. <laughs> okay, but yeah, I think that is it for our development stream of the Wandering Village today. You saw some old technical, mostly technical prototypes of the game. You saw some of our Game Jam games. And next time around, you're probably going to see some new stuff for the actual Wandering Village as it yeah. is right now on Steam. Hey, write in the chat or in Discord what you would like to see. Uh, we did decide what's going to be the main topic of the next uh, developer stream. I Maybe I hope to do some... No, actually, I don't know, so I shouldn't promise anything. But we have a new, 
uh, employee, Robin. So maybe we could yes, do a absolutely. deep dive into like game design with you together. Um, I don't know. What, what will it be? Like start of March, we can talk about upcoming GDC. Right, Game uh, Developers Conference, of course, in uh, March. Yeah. In San Francisco. Uh, Melodox, thank you so much for watching. Yeah, thanks a lot for being here. Uh, and everyone else, of course, as well. So, see you next time. Yes. Uh, see or you meet you in the Discord. Goodbye. Bye.